Girl in the Cornfield, a short story. I'm a child, we had huge cornfields behind the small group of houses we lived in. Since not a lot of kids lived around the area, whenever someone new would move in, we would all ask if there were any kids with them. It would usually be a no, but on rare occasions, people would say yes, and our group of kids would welcome them in with open arms. One time, a family of four moved in, a man and his wife with their eight-year-old Maddie and newborn Matt. Maddie was odd, to say the least. She was always trying to get us to play in the huge cornfields. We would always say no because our parents said to stay away from there because we could easily get lost or hurt. Even though we always said no, she kept on asking until one time we agreed to sneak out with her. Little did we know this would be the worst mistake we ever made. As we walked through the fields, we could hear the dry grass crunching underneath our feet. The dead silence didn't help. But we continued on. About an hour later, we reached a clearing and sat down to eat. Milo, the leader of our group, said, Okay, guys, let's take a break and eat. We sat down, each taking out something to eat. My older brother pulled out two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, one for me and one for him. We all ate, and no one said a word, but the silence was broken by a loud scream. Chrissy, the youngest in our group, who was only about six years old at the time, said she saw something in the grass running. We all got freaked out and decided to leave, but Maddie said, No, we have to stay here. We were all too scared to listen to her and ran as fast as we could, my brother holding my hand tightly. This time, the, cr the crunching was accompanied by the sounds of scared children. As we made it to the edge of the cornfield, we all fell on the ground, trying to catch our breath. I could barely move my legs and was fading in and out of consciousness, when I heard our parents calling out for us. By the time I woke up, I was in my mom's arms and police were everywhere. I asked my mom what was going on, and she told me that they couldn't find Maddie. A few hours passed and I found her, but she wasn't alive. They found her body, old and rotting, with pieces of skin missing. The body was not from today, it was from six weeks ago, the same time Maddie moved here. No one, no one could explain what it was. A few years later, at a party by the same huge cornfields, I could have sworn I saw Maddie smiling at me from the field. When I blinked, she was gone. 